Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Charlie and today I will be doing a video, I will be showcasing my laptop collection. Now, I'm, you're probably, you're probably, if you're a um, viewer who's seen a lot of my other videos, you're probably saying, hey Charlie, you've already made a video on all your laptops, blah 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 blah. Yes, I have, but those are my older Apple laptops, and that was only for the vintage Apple collection tour, but these are all my other laptops that aren't Apple related and aren't exactly vintage. So, um, most of these are um, perfectly working, and um, well, some of these are perfectly working and can run Windows 10 and can theoretically be used as a daily driver, but I've chosen not to use them and just use them as more of like project computers. So I'm going to start, let's start off with the tour from the worst to the best. So starting at the top, we have this thing. This is my Asus ePC, e and this is a Windows 7 PC with all the stupidest crap you've ever seen on a computer in your life. It's got an Intel Atom, Windows 7 Starter, and it's Energy Star efficient. This is probably the complete opposite of what I'd use because the types of computers that I like to use are large, powerful, very, um, very unnecessary for what I use computers for, and good looking. This is not exactly good looking. It has like these pat this pattern on the palm rest. It doesn't look the best, same as the back. And it's extremely small. This is like a, I th I'd say like maybe a 10 or 9 inch screen. It's tiny. It's the smallest computer I actually have. And it works, but it's extremely slow and I'd rather not show it working. Next we have the Chromebooks. So, I, the only reason why I actually have these is because I usually destroy them in my YouTube videos. And... They're all kind of in like a pretty destroyed state. The only one that I know of that is working is this one. The only issue it has that I know of is that the screen is cracked. But otherwise, this one pretty much works. Up next, I have this Samsung that's been drawn on. The logo's kind of missing. Inside is looks pretty bad. Screen's definitely destroyed. Keyboard's also destroyed. Got someone's uh, homework on there. And the trackpad's all scratched up. I just I usually I use these for like props in my videos, and sometimes I just uh, completely obliterate them. This one's in pretty better condition. Uh, not the best though. The inside's probably worse. Yeah, it's missing that thing. And I know that I've taken out all of the salvageable parts. For example, the motherboards are missing in these. These ones never the Dells never actually came with their screens. And this one has. Uh, this one has writing on it. Why are you looking at my computer? So, that's nice. Oh, it's got an Intel. That's interesting. And then, this one's also pretty much the same as the other one. And all of these are pretty de pretty much dead, except for the one with the broken screen. I would get a new screen for it, but I have no use for a Chromebook. So, yeah, I might... I'm probably going to save that one, but otherwise, they're all, de they're all dead. Up next, we have my IBM ThinkPads. Now... I actually have two of these, and I did a video on one of them a couple, of, uh, maybe like one or two years ago. So this one's the one you saw in the video. This one's in really good condition. This was actually owned by my dad. It's a Windows XP with Pentium 3. Um, it's the IBM ThinkPad, not those crappy Lenovo ones. And it's in really good condition. I'm not sure if the battery works, but I know the thing itself works, and I've used it pretty recently actually for a video that I never actually uploaded but it works I'd rather not show it but not, but it's only Windows XP this one however is kind of a different story now this one was donated to me or at least someone charged me like ten dollars for it I bought it because they begged me and they really needed the money to buy their own new computer so they sold their dad's computer to me so this is a bit older it's a also a Pentium three, but it has Windows X. Uh, it has like, but it has Windows ninety eight, Windows two thousand. Interesting. And something's inside of this. I don't know what. I think somebody stuck like coins in here. Yeah, somebody stuck a bunch of plastic coins in here. So that's annoying. I might have to. But the reason why this one's kind of questionable is because 
The thing is, is that this one, it works perf- it works, but it has like this password on it, and I don't know how to get it off, but it's like a bias pa BIOS password. It's not like a password to unlock the thing from Windows, whatever it has, but that's kind of sad, so, but I do have chargers for them now. I found them, so... Yeah, so I guess moving on. All right, so this next one was actually my daily driver for a time. So what I did was I connected an external monitor to it and used dual monitors with it. And this is a Dell Latitude E6500. So basically, this laptop, um, the keyboard started meal functioning, so I took it out and destroyed it in another video. These keyboards are really easy to find, so hopefully gonna get hold of one of them soon. Um, otherwise the whole thing works. It requires a keyboard to do most of its functionality, but the trackpad's still here. It has a fingerprint scanner. Uh, it's a pretty nice computer. It can play certain games like Roblox decently. Well, it's like, it's not as bad as Ollie's computer. Well, actually it's a bit worse than Ollie's computer. The Sound, it has a sound issue where if you're like watching a YouTube video, these like annoying burp sounds happen like every um, 30 to 60 seconds if you're watching a video. Otherwise, this thing works perfectly fine. It has like maybe a two hour battery life. This is the battery, by the way. It has like this extended battery for some reason because right, the regular ones just cut along this bezel, but this one's extended. And yeah, it's in pretty good condition. I've taken good care of it. I used it at school for like maybe a week until the keyboard stopped working. And I'm definitely probably going to try getting a new keyboard. But I'm not really thinking about getting a new keyboard for this thing since I have replaced this with a different daily driver. So yeah, I guess moving on. All right, so we're nearing the end of the of the computers that I own. This is like the third to last so this is a Toshiba satellite. The reason why it has this Apple on it is because I wanted to bring this into school one day and pretend it was my brand new MacBook, but it's not. It's actually a Toshiba satellite. Um, and this was one of my, this was, I also did a video on this computer. This was before the Dell, but I decided to move to the Dell because I liked it a lot more. So basically, um, this Toshiba satellite works flawlessly. It's the same, pretty much the same thing as the Dell. It has a Pentium dual core. The Dell has like a, well, I don't know what it has. Probably has a, like a core two doer or something. This one came with originally Windows Vista, but I was able to upgrade it to Windows 10, which is why I put that sticker there. And I also have a MacBook logo there and my Wi-Fi detail, the Wi-Fi details for my house. Trackpad's kind of small and feels a bit odd, but otherwise thing works fine. Um, it's definitely had some usage, as you can see, with someone putting their palm here and the buttons are kind of worn out. But otherwise, thing works fine and it's really good. So don't want you guys to steal my product keys. So yeah, but there are the specs. It's 19 volts, which that even matters, but. Battery, I'm not, I don't remember the, how good the battery is, but remember it being decent, but yeah. So after, so since now that we're, and it also has this really useful control panel on the front where you can, where there's a headphone jack and a microphone in a volume and, uh, and something to turn the Wi-Fi on and off. So if you have this in your room and your parents are self-conscious about the Wi-Fi, coming out, steaming out of the computer and into your brain. You could just turn this off and say, hey, the thing's turned off. Can I leave my computer on now? So yeah, now that that's done, now we can move on to the second to last computer. All right, so now we're at one of my, possibly one of my favorite computers that I own. This is my Asus gaming laptop. And this thing is an absolute beast. This thing's huge. It's at least 17 inches. This thing is ginormous. It's it's very big. Like it's just so big. That's it's just it's really big, and that's what I love about it. It has three hinges: one here, one here, and one here. It has um, a really interesting microphone and a video camera. This was given to me for free by one of my teachers because their son didn't need it anymore. It has an it has an LCD screen for some reason. Buttons. Um, the WASD is highlighted. And speakers look incredible. 
the whole thing is just major. It has like these more controls down here. It's a it has Dolby speakers. It has an Nvidia graphics card. It's a what is that? It's a GTX something. GTX G4 Nvidia GeForce uh, something. It has an Intel Centrino Duo. Not sure how good that is. And originally shipped with Windows Vista. This is basically the gaming laptop of the time that this Toshiba came out. They're basically, um, they basically probably came out, I'm gonna bet that they came out at the same time period. However, this laptop has a few issues. For w one of the problems that it has is that it doesn't display anything, but you can hear it start up. It never actually came with a hard drive, and it was a bit damp when I got it, so I don't know what the problem is, but for some reason it doesn't display anything. But when I first got it, it did display for a bit, but then it stopped displaying. If you look underneath it, I am actually miss unfortunately missing the, um, the, um, the little cover here, unfortunately. That, that's missing because I took this apart and then put it back together, but then I lost this cover. And then, yeah, that's about it. It has, um, this, this isn't actually for an extra hard drive. This is just for a, the actual hard drive. I got this quite a while ago, so I was kind of clueless about what this was. And somebody told me it was for an extra hard drive, but I, but then I soon realized that there isn't a first hard drive anywhere. I'm not sure what this is, though. It looks like a floppy disk, but who knows. But anyway... Um, battery life, I have no idea, but this thing has so many ports on the side. It has, uh, let's see, we have this thing, uh, SD card, it also has a Wi-Fi, um, turner off or whatever this is, uh, for he headphones, other things, uh, this, I think that's an IR sensor for controlling things, uh, USB 2.0, which I think can be used with a monitor, I'm not sure and ethernet and uh uh something else and then on the back we have even more usbs and some weird usb hdmi so that's cr that's pretty crazy um external monitor again uh that's sort of Looks like, uh, I think that's for, like, keyboards and stuff. I'm not too good with Windows PCs. It even has a CD drive with a DVD. Boy, this must have been a really cool laptop back then. And that's the power. And it also has these really cool lights on the side that glow red. And the whole thing, it just looks really cool. I wish it was working, because that would be awesome. And it's huge, which is something I like about laptops, is that they're big. This must be really good to watch movies on. It's, it's, I've, it's really big. It's, like, twice the size of my daily driver. But, yeah, so now that we're done with this laptop, it is time to show you the final laptop, which is my daily driver. All right, so the final computer I will be showing you today is this really small thing. This is my Surface Pro 3, and it has a Core i7, it has, no, it has a Core i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigabytes of storage. Originally shipped with Windows 8, but I've upgraded it to Windows 10, because who uses Windows 8 ever? So, yeah, basically, this thing, I really do not like it that much. It, the battery life is four hours, and because I use this at school, which is like seven hours, um, I have to charge it, so it's really annoying. Probably my least favorite part about it is the, is the keyboard. The keyboard is an absolute abomination. One of the biggest problems with it is that it's not actually a standard American keyboard like I'm used to. It's this Swiss-German keyboard, so... The enter key's all weird. The Y and the Z is in the wrong place. I'm not, I'm not really bothered by those things because I'm already used to it. But what I used to do was press this button instead of the enter key because I'm not used to it like that. But now I'm used to it. But the only problem I have with it is that you see how the keys are so close together. The problem with that is that it's really easy to like press more than one key at the same time. And this is super annoying. And also it is incredibly loud. L allow me to demonstrate. Hear how loud that is and that's just regular typing allow me to demonstrate with the other one yeah it's a really loud one of the problems that the keyboard bends and it's not actually on the ground it's actually slightly elevated 
And yeah, I really don't like it. I also don't really like the cloth on the bottom here because it accumulates a lot of dirt and debris. On the back, it has this kickstand, which is annoying because it because if I want it at a certain angle, which is like if I want it at an angle like this, I can't because the kickstand won't go up that high. Because like a laptop, laptops have hinges, so you can go like this. This is only limited to the kickstand, which is and this is as high as you can go, and it's really annoying because this the viewing angles are fine, but I don't really like it that much. It has a camera on both sides. This is one of them. Apple sticker, because why not? The, here's the logo. Underneath, you have a micro SD card reader, not a regular one, which is kind of stupid. Um, here's the technical information. Um, over here, we have a headphone jack, thankfully. Uh, volume rocker, uh, power. Uh, this Wi-Fi antenna here, which is the plastic part that separates that separate from the metal, actually has cracked. It even though I haven't dropped it ever in my life. Probably my dad did when he used it for work. But this, you see this piece of plastic here, it has actually shifted into the behind the screen. So that's why there's a crack right along the screen, and it's really annoying. And then there's also this chunk missing here. Um, and then on the other side we have. Um, this is for micro, um, this is like a micro display, mini display port. Um, I actually use this with an external monitor so I can use dual monitors as I mentioned in my room tour video. I also have one single USB port which really sucks because I use an external keyboard with this thing when I have it in desktop mode because god forbid I'm ever going to use this keyboard on a regular basis. And it's really annoying if I want to use a flash drive. I could just buy a, I could just buy a USB, um, what is it called, USB hub, but I don't want to. And then there's the charger. When the problem with the charger is that regularly Dell computers, um, are, and Dell computers have the same charger, and literally everybody who has like a Windows 10 computer has this exact same charger because it's used throughout. For some reason, Microsoft has used this crappy little charger and nobody has it and everyone's confused. In fact, one of my friends actually stuck an SD card in here once thinking that it was the SD card reader, but no, it's not. So this thing is trash. Um, the keyboard does disconnect, so I could replace it, but I'm too poor to do that. So, yeah. And that will, I guess, conclude this right, video. And that will do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I just wanted to make this short little video. I don't know how long it is, but I I just wanted to do this um, video because, um, because I do have other computers other than Apple computers, so I'm not totally biased to Apple, just to let you know. But I don't actually use them. I've just accumulated these over the years of my existence. So, yeah, but... Uh, I also wanted to show you how big these this thing is compared to this thing. So I remember getting this thing and thinking it was the smallest laptop in the world. And then I remember getting this thing thinking, oh my god, this is the largest laptop in the world. And, and then I remember doing this with it. And look at how big it is. The screen of this thing is twice the size of the actual computer. This is just crazy. But I could see the appeal of one one or the other, for example. This one is like small, simple, so I guess it'd be good for school use. And then this is more of my kind of thing. Big, unnecessary, has all these stupid things on it, like all these buttons and all this, and for some reason, uh, an LCD screen over there and a big screen. And why is this even here? Like, what is this? It, oh my God, it's just so fun. And this doesn't do anything, it's just a logo. Trackpad is okay, I guess. I mean, this must be fun to game on something like this, and it has all these unnecessarily large and expensive features, and that's probably the best thing about it. So, yeah. If you'd like to support me, um, please consider subscribing or donating to my YouTube channel. Links are in the description below. Um, if you, if you um, have any parts for this computer here, this Asus, gaming laptop that you'd like to donate so I can probably hopefully fix it that'd be really appreciated and you can do s donate those things down below I think this is a I don't know what it is but I'll give you the um, product information so there you go if you want to help me with this thing so yeah so 
last thing is heavy, so we're gonna end this video soon. So that'll do it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed and consider subscribing and donating to my YouTube channel. Link in the description below. It really helps. Everything you guys do is really helpful. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video and goodbye.